For the truss shown, what are the forces in members BC, BE, and EF, and state if these members are in tension or compression. This is the fourth example of the truss's main lecture video. The links to that main lecture video, other lecture videos, and other examples are in the description below. Since we're not looking to find the internal forces of all members, the method of sections makes more sense than the method of joints, especially because in this case, the three internal forces we're looking for can be found with only one cut. As opposed to the previous example, and regardless of which section we'll use to find those three forces, we'll need to find the reaction forces at either A or D. For this reason, the first step is to draw a free body diagram of the entire structure, like we explained during the main lecture video, to find the value of the reactions we'll use to find the internal loads. In this case, since we're using the right side of the structure, the reaction force we need is dy. From the free body diagram, we see that a sum of moments about A would work perfectly to solve for the reaction force at D, since the lines of action of the reaction forces at A pass through A. With this value, we can use the method of sections to write a sum of moments about a point where two of the three unknown variables are not present. For example, a sum of moments about B would allow us to solve for FEF since the lines of action of FCB and FEB pass through point B. Similarly, a sum of moments about E would allow us to solve for FCB since the lines of action of FEF, FEB, and the 9 kN force would pass through E. Finally, a sum of forces in Y would give us the value of FBE. Since we assumed all forces to be tensile by drawing the internal forces moving away from the structure, which is what was suggested during the main lecture video, negative internal forces will mean compression and positive internal forces mean that the direction of those vectors are correct and therefore the members are in tension. You can go to the description of this video to find the links to other aesthetics main lecture videos as well as the other truss examples. Thanks for watching.